This is a story I haven't told you yet. It is so personal, but something I've been wanting to share with you for a long time. I had the answer right in front of me, but like so many other people, I ignored it. I was stubborn, and I always thought I would have tomorrow. I was born and raised in a Christian cult. After several years of manipulation and brainwashing, we found our way out. Many souls lost hope, especially the hope in God. I grew this barrier between religion because all religion I had heard about was rewritten or changed by mankind. I thought I would go on with my life, having the moral compass I had from a young age, but also making up my own rules. However, I never lost hope in God. A couple of years ago I prayed, believing with every inch of my body that God would show me a way to get closer to Him. And He did. But I looked away. I was ignorant. It wasn't before 2014 when I actually listened. Islam was something foreign. I grew up to believe that Islam is a bad and hateful religion who suppresses women. I couldn't understand why women would choose to wear a scarf around their head. Muslims were the people you heard about in the news. Media taught us that with the word Muslims, the word terrorist comes behind it. And Allah, he was a different God from my God. In doubt, every time my heart found peace and its truth, I could find so many similarities from what I believed in and Islam. And even when my brain cut up, in the realization that this is the truth, that this is the right way. I was scared. I was so scared what my family would say, my friends, everyone who knew me. Time went by and my doubts started to fade away. I saw how Muslims were, peaceful human beings worshipping one God. There are in fact 1.6 billion Muslims in the world and the most practiced religion these people were not forced or manipulated into believing anything. They simply found the truth. I started little by little trying to cut off bad habits. I wanted to know if I could make it, because I didn't want to fail if I decided to revert. I stayed at a cross point where I could either go left or right, and sometimes I went a little bit to the left, but ran back again because I felt unease with myself. It came to a point where I needed a push, but nobody around me pushed me. I had to push myself towards the last step. So, I'm actually really scared to film this. On September 16th, two years ago, I said my Shahada in a local cultural center. At that moment, I felt as if a burden that I had been carrying around for years was just lifted. That day, that night, I cried so much. I actually cried for two days. But a friend of mine told me that it's okay. I was reborn, I was a child, and children cry a lot. And I had to take baby steps. That week, I tried to pray. I had tried many times before, but um, it just never worked. But after I said my Shahada, it all just came really easy. And that just goes to show that, um, you know, if you take one step towards Allah, He will run towards you. I feel so lucky that Allah has chosen me to be guided to Islam. I understand why things happened and why I went through hardship to get where I am right now. The point is not to be perfect. You will fall and fail, but you will repent and you will get back up again. Allah chose you to be on this earth and to go through his tests so that you can come to paradise. And that in itself, inshallah. And when you find God, you know that he's always with you. You know 
that your worries fade away because everything is pre-written for you and everything happens for a reason and you find peace. And that is the definition of the word peace love.